I actually had blindness, confusion, and left leg weakness. Crystal Anderson had just started a new job as the emergency room manager at Christa Santa Rosa Hospital, Westover Hills, when she suddenly found herself on the other side of the ER. My eye sight kind of went, started going blurry and I got some flashing of lights in my eyes and then within a matter of seconds, I only had half of my visual field. ER director, Dr. Brian Hartfelder was leaving for the day when he noticed Crystal hunched over by an empty stretcher. She was just saying, oh, just let me lay down. I'll be okay for a little bit. And uh, you know, I decided very quickly that I didn't think that that was the appropriate course. Crystal was having a stroke. Stroke symptoms can vary from slurred speech, arm weakness, facial droop, or in Crystal's case, confusion and vision problems. When you see these symptoms, act fast. The earlier that a person can recognize, uh, whether it's a family member, the person themselves can recognize that they're having stroke, that they need to get to the ER so that management can begin as quickly as possible. We did end up getting bed. Crystal was fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. But strokes usually don't choose the right time or place. It really can be anybody at any time. And if nothing else, to just recognize that something abnormal is happening and it needs further uh, evaluation at that point. And seeking medical attention immediately is often the key to quicker recovery and minimal brain loss. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. I don't have the risk factors that people normally would have with a stroke, but in my, and not all the symptoms are the same. They can pre present very differently. But if you are in any way, shape or form in doubt, you need to seek medical treatment immediately. And I am living proof that early intervention is the key. For more information on stroke, visit kristasanarosa.org slash strokecare.